What's up world? My name is Sarah and welcome back to another episode of whatever it is that we're doing here. <laughs> that I had when I was a little baby. If you're not into thrifting, it's a nice keepsake. I'm kind of one of those hoarder people, so every single day. Situation? So I'm getting rid of things while I'm getting new things. How this is gonna work? Feel good. Antiquey, maybe even 80s. How I'm gonna style this, I'm not 100% sure to die for. Let me see. Wiggle yourself through. I think it's kind of cute. And that's a crime. <sighs> okay, of course. Now, as you can tell, we are thrifting again, but we're going to one of my OG favorite locations because I haven't been there in a while and it just dawned on me that the whole summer, maybe even spring, I can't even remember when I went there last and that's a crime. So today we're gonna use some movie magic and go thrifting. And just like that, we have arrived. The place is right there. I'm getting a little giddy because I'm super excited to go in. Like I mentioned, it's one of my favorite OG locations. Let's hit in. No surprise here, an amazing haul is about to happen. Now I have to say I had the greatest time going back, seeing the people that work there, and even enjoying one of their cinnamon rolls that are to die for. Now, if you're not into thrifting, I still recommend this place because it has a antique yet modern-esque vibe to the whole location. It's relatively small. The aisles are small, so you have to kind of wiggle yourself through all the items, but there's just something super magical about the place. Now, like I said, if you're not into thrifting, this location makes their very own cinnamon buns every single day. You can just go in, have a coffee or tea, enjoy your bun. They have seating outside for when it's good weather. This place has a special place in my heart and I do recommend popping in if you're anywhere near. Now, like I mentioned, 
The hall is going to be amazing. This place very rarely lets me down and I found a whole bunch of random and fun things. Let's start with our first item. Now, the first item is a mirror, which is going to be extremely hard to show. It's not, it has like a plasticky cardboard silver frame and it's not the best high quality mirror, but for the purpose that I purchased it for, it's going to be perfect. And that is to put it behind a plant that I have to move. He's getting kind of big for where he is. I need to relocate him and to ensure that he gets enough light, I'm gonna install the mirror behind him somehow. Now, how this is gonna work, where is he going to end up is still a mystery but for two euros the mirror is going to hopefully add some light reflecting light for him to still keep on growing now another random piece that i found was a baby towel this is relatively big and super cute it has letters and animals and palm trees and cactuses with little sombreros there's a is that a tram or a bus on it and oh my god the bison is so cute <laughs> like that and what else i wanted to show you one more thing there's probably a hundred things that i could show you the spaceship now this is a towel material that has a kind of rim lining and I just, I had to get this because our small little nephew is coming to visit for a sleepover weekend and I thought that his own towel could be kind of cute. I still actually have the towel that I had when I was a little baby. It has Daffy, Duck, and Bugs Bunny on it. And well, I'm 42 years old. You can imagine how faded the colors are, but I, I still have it. I don't use that towel, but it's a nice keepsake. I'm kind of one of those hoarder people, so yeah. But this, even though he might not keep it for 42 years, this is a fun and in great condition, his own towel. Next up is an amazing find. It's a stretchy denim jacket that is an olive dark army green with a great message on the back in pink. Feel good. Now that is the goal in life, to feel good. I'm not 100% sure how to pair this, but I probably have a whole lot of things that we can style this with. I love the details of the distress in the back. Like I said, it's a stretchy, comfortable fit. Now it doesn't have pockets, which isn't a big minus, but well, I kind of lied. The pockets are the ones on the chest, but we don't have the side pocket situation, but the overall jacket trumped the fact that there wasn't pockets, so I love it. Now, you might be thinking, if you've been around, why are you getting another jacket? Because I put a whole bunch of <laughs> items on Facebook Market, so I'm getting rid of things while I'm getting new things. Plus, I'm donating stuff, so don't feel bad for me. Feel good. Now, I found these leather Chelsea boots that are dark chocolatey brown that are going to be perfect for the fall season we are approaching. I like that the, even though it says 36, which in some cases is my size, this was a little, not big per se, but I can buy a sole or put a thicker wool sock in the boot to keep me nice and toasty. So yeah, I'm not 100% sure the original brand, but they look like they're in relatively good condition. And if you know me, you know that I like that there's a bit of wearness in leather. I will give them a little facelift at some point 
but the soles of the shoes, the quality of the leather, and how they fit, these are pretty good. Now, another fun item that I almost didn't get, but when I tried it on, it was like, yeah, I'm really into these bigger graphic kind of tees. Today I'm wearing it with some biker shorts and my sneakers and something like this is too good not to get. It says Master Yoda. Now it looks like it is a size large. Is it men or women? I don't care, either or. It looks like it's from the Star Wars shop or I'm assuming. You know, sometimes H&M and Zara and, and these shops will have like Disney or Star Wars printed shirts. Like I think this is originally Zara shirt that has like this Disney theme on it. I thrifted this a while back. This seems to be one that's from the actual Star Wars store or maybe online store. Not that that has anything to do with anything. <laughs> But it is a nice gray t-shirt that's big and flowy. And like I said, with some biker shorts or leggings or denim, which is our next item. I found these Beavers brand jeans that are way too long for me and a little bit big on the waist, but they still looked really cool. Now, am I chasing my younger years? Maybe, who knows, who cares? These are a very stunning fit, almost a mom jean vibe. And Beavers is a Finnish brand that started late 60s, early 70s, and were a trendy brand all the way, I think, up to the 90s, because I was a teenager in the 90s, so I remember these. It started out as a smaller husband and wife, mom and pop kind of store, and I think they eventually sold their brand to a bigger company, also a Finnish company. But I'm not 100% sure if Beaver's denim and jeans are still sold today, but I am for sure that these are a pair of vintage jeans, actual vintage, not just 2000 vintage, but maybe even 80s. The denim is so high quality and nice. These are, like I mentioned, a mom jean vibe. Now, how I'm gonna style this, I'm not 100% sure. I think with the Yoda shirt, it might look kind of cool, but eventually I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to cut and how much I'm going to cut off the length because they were, let me see, about this much too long for me. So do I wanna cut them and make them a fringy? Do I wanna crop them? Do I wanna leave enough to fold them? That's not gonna happen today, but I'm super excited to style them today and show you how cool these jeans are. Now, to top off everything, I did find a pair of sandals. Now you might be thinking, you just bought a pair of shoes for the colder weather and why would you dive into sandals when summer's coming to an end? We still have a bunch of warm, hot days. I can pull off sandals with a blazer for relatively long. And these are the sandals that I grabbed. They are these tan color, gold detail, perfect size, never been used Ralph Lauren sandals. I love the little gold detail and the color of the tan sand sandal. I love the dainty straps. Even the buckle is gold. The letters are gold. Not that those are gonna show anywhere, but I could even pair this with the jeans and the t-shirt that I just showed you. I think it's kind of cute.
Now, if you had to choose out of all the randomness items from this video, which one was your favorite? Now, I know you didn't really see the mirror, but I promise you that he has a very important job. He, as in it, has a very important job, and all the other items will be loved and worn, of course. Now we have come to the end of our thrifting video for this week. I think the haul was so random, so juicy, so good. I'm so glad you stuck to the end and watched the haul. It really means so much to me. Now hit that like button and remember to subscribe so you can find your way back for next week's video. Take care now.